They have clear and compelling evidence that agents of the government of India have engaged in and continue to engage in activities that pose a significant threat to public safety. that India was possibly, if not probably, behind Nijar's killing, the killing of a Canadian on Canadian soil last summer. This includes clandestine information gathering techniques, coercive behavior targeting South Asian Canadians, and involvement in over a dozen threatening and violent acts, including murder. This is unacceptable. While attempts have been made by the RCMP and national security officials to work with the government of India and Indian law enforcement counterparts on this matter, they have been repeatedly refused. As the RCMP commissioner stated earlier, they have clear and compelling evidence that agents of the government of India have engaged in and continue to engage in activities that pose a significant threat to public safety. This includes clandestine information gathering techniques, coercive behavior targeting South Asian Canadians, and involvement in over a dozen threatening and violent acts including murder. This is unacceptable. While attempts have been made by the RCMP and national security officials to work with the government of India and Indian law enforcement counterparts on this matter, they have been repeatedly refused. This is why, this weekend, Canadian officials took an extraordinary step. They met with Indian officials to share RCMP evidence which concluded Six agents of the government of India are persons of interest in criminal activities. And despite repeated requests to the government of India, it has decided not to cooperate.
you like this video then like share and subscribe to mirror now